Hey everybody, welcome back to this guy one. We've got to assault a bridge and my neighbor is playing some really incredibly uh, irritating and loud music. I don't think you can hear that, but I'm apologizing regardless, just in case you can. Let's attack the bridge. Let's get Carter. We finally got you cornered, Carter. Release Jennifer now. As you wish. <sighs> They changed her bra and skirt thing. It's Jennifer. green now. You monsters. Uh, huh? That's not what I expected. Me neither. Hey, you call this a modification? <laughs> so you found out about it, eh? I've installed a neural override device. Neural override? Exactly. Jennifer is now my puppet. Jennifer, go defeat Gordon. Wow. <laughs> this must be a joke. I, the defender of Earth, could never lose to such a delicate creature. Delicate creature, let's kick your ass, Gordon. <laughs> Why you don't fuck with Jennifer? Martial arts, kung fu. What? I never knew that. You never asked. That explains it. So what am I supposed to do? No way can I use my full fighting potential against Jennifer. You lose anyways, man. How about we just blow up the entire ship? Oh no, you don't. I already claimed this ship. You claimed it? Uh, I see. Well, so much for that idea. Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, facing his... No one's even going to question that. <laughs> that flog claimed this ship. How pathetic, Gordon. What happened to that spirit you were bragging about? It's Curtis. With his jet boots. Curtis, you're better already. <laughs> Your voice woke my heart up to the ideals I forgot long ago. Stand aside. Let me show you my defender spirit. Jennifer, kill that traitor first. Gordon, you called me a coder. I, I looked up to you. That's why I became a scientist in the first place. Funny, isn't it? How did things end up like this? If only I had realized sooner. I got some anime music going on in the background it's here too. That I realized it in the end. I bet they're smiling down on me from heaven. It's pre-anime. Jennifer, stop wasting your time with that miserable traitor. Curse you all! I'll just blow you all up and Jennifer too. In case of an event like this, I blew the bomb inside the neural override device. <laughs> what? Now die! I made that device, and I know its weakness. Its weakness is love! Jennifer, I can't let you die here! Curtis! Hey, he just blew himself up. Do you think I could ever be a true defender of Earth? Yeah, yeah, of course you could be. What am I saying? You are a true defender of Earth. <laughs> Thanks, Gordon. I won't forget the defender spirit you showed. No, Curtis, <laughs> why? I knew you for five minutes and didn't really like you, but at the same time, I'm kind of touched by your sacrifice. No. You will be known as the 38th Defender of Earth. Heed my words, Death. I command you in the name of King Laharl 
Lead the soul of Curtis, defender of Earth, to his family's side. You can do that. Prince. Lahara. Don't say a word. As the overlord of the netherworld, I was just paying homage to a true hero. That's all. Yes, I understand. Carter. Oh, look, a close chain's back. That means the neural override must be gone. <gasps> He's like, chose backwards. <gasps> oh, no. Wait, Gordon. Jennifer, you're back to normal. Yes, I was conscious the entire time I was being controlled. Because of oh, me, shit. Curtis. Yeah, Curtis is dead. What I thought was right. And now his spirit will burn brightly in your heart. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'm sure he's still going to be recruitable after the end game. You are no longer my assistant. Fight alongside me as an equal, as a defender of Earth. Thank you, Gordon. Do you remember when Laharl and Etna and Flan used to be the main characters? I understand. Let's forget about the past and me concentrate neither. on the present. Wait, wait, Jennifer, I'm your father. Have you forgotten everything that I've done for you? No, I haven't. If you hadn't taken me in back then, I might not be here today. I loved you and believed in you. But we were never a true family to begin with. You raised me only so you could manipulate me. I'll never call you father again. Prepare yourself, Carter. <laughs> you ungrateful little... That's it. <gasps> Angels. A celestial host? Why? Why are angels helping him? Apparently, someone's been pulling strings from behind the scenes. Celestia's involved, huh? It just keeps getting better, Prince. It can't be. Is this the will of the Sarah? All right, what we got? So these angels are level 50. There's a fucking ton of them, too. Oh, and he's gone. Okay. This is going to be a tough one. And that was one hell of a long-ass cutscene, too. So let's Pretty Barrage. And I don't think Pretty Barrage is going to kill it, either. So let's Pretty Barrage and King of Beasts. And then we will do... Oh, I really haven't got enough... No one's really got enough walk speed, do they? It's a real pain in the ass. Um... Alright, Mega Man. I can fire this one and this one. Okay, they're both weak to fire. That's good. You both do the ice and you both eat the wind. Of course you are. Fucking naturally. Okay, that's fine. Um, what do you eat to? You'll eat the ice, so that's nice. Uh, we'll giga ice this lady, and then we'll get Ricky out to finish it off if if Val can't quite, you know, quite get us there. Let's just try that out and see where we are after that. Omega fire. Nice bang. Door, oh, see? Just, just short. So there we go. We got Ricky to finish it off. You live too, which is kind of a shame. But that's fine. Uh, let's get Sakura up in here. Let's get Sarah. Uh, let's 
Let's get rah rah. Uh, let's get zero. Uh, I don't think any throwing is going to be in order for today. Thank you very much. Ah, we're being bowed. Giga heal. Yourself. I mean, that's an interesting move. Certainly one that you can make. It's definitely a, a, a move. Definitely a move. Oh, really? Can we get... I can't even really get where I want to be either, can I? Move you there and you can wind cutter. No, just those two. You're weak to ice, right? Of course you are. Lovely. Right, who's weak to fire? You're weak to fire. You're weak to fire. Okay, that's fine. Let us just do one of these boys. See how that goes. Hopefully that kills them off. Yep. I can't believe! There you go. I can't believe! 15! That's crazy. Uh, we can get a whip in here. We can punch the angel out of that whole bit there. She's there now. I'm not sure what that really does for us, though. Uh, okay. So I'll move here. I can pretty barrage from here. Uh, well, I really don't want to waste anyone's hit. Uh, Alright, Ricky. Come and finish this, this one off for you. Bang. Good job, Ricky. Shit, to you. Oh, that's annoying. That's fine. Okay. Uh, King of Beasts. Uh, I think that's everyone's turn, isn't it? Where are you? Mezzo just defend. Okay, dog. Sky Lunge. Oh no. Akuma. Is fine. Okay. King of Beasts are that way. Oh, really? Triple Strike that way. Oh my god, look, she's so close. Seven HPs. Quick, Ricky. Now is, now is your opportunity. <laughs> Bang. That's right. How'd you feel about that, Carter? Your technology is, it is impossible to infiltrate the netherworld without help. Now answer, who is behind this? I, I, I can't. If you do not say, I will kill you. It, it's a man with white wings. I'm innocent. I, I, I just wanted to save the Earth. I see. Foolish human, you cannot save the Earth. How do you intend to save all of mankind when you cannot even save your daughter? You have sacrificed the lives of others to satisfy your own ego until you realize that 
You will be plagued by nightmares. We will be watching you. Oh, why am I so awesome? I mean, it, you you kind of had something going there, mid boss, until you fucked it up with that fort there. Thank you, Curtis. I will never forget you. I swear to you that I will fight with both our strength for the sake of humanity. No, not just for humanity, for every living creature. I will too, Curtis. You saved my life. I shall repay you by dedicating it to world peace and to preventing others from becoming victims like you and your family. Juan? I'm going back to Celestia. What? I must return to find out the Seraph's true intentions. Episode 13, War for the Neverworld, part two, end. Seems like one problem leads to another. We found out that the humans were being manipulated by the angels. Now, Juan wants to return to Celestia to go face to face with the Seraph himself. What awaits her there? Will the Archangel's true intent be finally revealed? Next on Disgaea, Hour of Darkness, final episode. What lies beyond the battle? The fate of the Netherworld is in your hands. This must be a dream. He's acting all serious. Could this be a sign of terrible things to come? It's the end of the world! End of the world. Danger, 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 danger Jennifer. What a lovely way to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, leave a like and a comment down below. Next time, we invade Celestia. Bye-bye.